Hi Peter, lovely to meet up with you at the range to do some further work on your swing. Just a quick recap on the key points that we covered. Uh, we want to keep working the the top of the back swing position as you have been doing. Um, really good improvements in that aspect of the swing. We discussed obviously how you get there and that the hands could maybe work in a little bit more um, in the early part of the swing and that your way of doing things is to take the club out and then bring it in. But the position you're actually arriving in at the top now is really nice, uh, much more appropriate than it was. Picture the shoulders has improved, angle of the left arm has improved, etc, etc, uh, as can be seen in the left-hand footage. So what happens in transition, really, and controlling your ball flight is now what we want to try and develop through practice. Partly because of the way you've swung the club in the past, with it being quite deep on the way back, uh, and partly down to just not really appreciating maybe the details involved in controlling the ball um, consistently, your move from the top is to have the back of the left hand roll forward, which brings the club onto the left forearm just a little bit too much keeping the club above plane sweet spot slightly outside the hands at delivery which means that the general swing direction is slightly to the left with a slight toe end strikes and you can see that the club has gone from above the plane ever so slightly to below the plane ever so slightly during the hitting of the golf ball so we've got a swing direction that is slightly to the left and that's going to produce things like pulls if the club face is square to that general swing direction and subsequent path um, if the club face is too open, that will produce large misses to the right. Uh, club face too closed, pull hooks, etc., etc. So we've got a swing that's a little bit shifted left. So what we need to do is just learn how to tweak the back swing a little bit, uh, introduce a little bit more inward in the early part, which would be nice, without really, without really compromising the work that you've done uh, since your last session, and also to learn how to present the club slightly more from the inside so what we've done here is and I thought this would be a nice sort of um, example for you is the it's the dry drills the one we're doing without the golf ball but it's the drill that I want you to spend quite a lot of time doing we've established our target line and we've put a ball out on the edge of the mat on the line that we intend to hit down you can see that that lines up with a cane and then what we talked about was that there was various um, levels if you will of push that we could hit so we're almost creating like a, a spectrum of pushes we've got a large push in the red the medium push in the purple and a small push in the white now in trying to hit these pushes what we're trying to discourage is we're trying to discourage the club coming above the plane to under the plane and we're trying to encourage a swing that's a little bit more to the right from the inside etc and a little bit more inwards on the way back without really you thinking about your backswing too much so if we look at the top of the backswing uh, this first swing you're trying to hit this first swing on the right you're trying to hit a big push for me uh, in doing that you get the arms deeper as you transition, you're deeper at the top, the left arm is angled in a little bit more at P5, and the sweet spot is well in behind the hands at delivery, when the shaft's parallel with the ground at P6. So that's you hitting the big push. We then work our way through where we try and feel like we're going to hit the medium push. The 
the arms at P5 are in slightly less. The sweet spot at P6 is in slightly less. As a result, the direction of the swing is slightly less to the right, hitting out at it slightly less. And then we want to hit the little push. When we're hitting the little push, you see that the top of the back swing is a little bit more upright, a little bit more as it would normally be. The left arm is angled in a little bit less. Nice amount, actually. I really like that. And then as you're coming into impact, the sweet spot, once again, is inside the hands, but to a lesser degree than we saw before. So as we're coming into the golf ball, we now have a swing that is directed slightly to the right as opposed to slightly to the left. You can see that the sweet spot of the club is over the target line far too soon. Uh, we use the visual of your swing. You know, We view the swing from above as the target line. In order to hit the ball, we swing in an arc. And the club should only really hit the target line at the low point of the arc. Now we're hitting the target line on the left well before impact. So what we've actually done is we've come above the plane line. We've come off this plane during the downswing. And that's your sort of your over the top move, if you will. It's not a classic over the top. It's not happening dramatically. It's not happening in transition. It's happening gradually throughout your downswing. So we just need a way of controlling the way the sweet spot comes into the golf ball. The swing that you're looking at on the left is fine as long as we only want to hit little pulls, little cuts. The swing you see on the right, particularly this final one, is much more appropriate for hitting inline shots and little draws. So a little bit of practice hitting the different sort of severities of push. By the time you start to hit the little push, you should start to see the ball, as you experienced in your lesson, you'll start to see the ball just drifting back to the target a little bit uh, without rolling the club face too much, if at all. Good luck with it. If you need any questions, feel free to drop me a line. Well done.